Hello guys, today we're having another demo project in Laravel. The code will be available on GitHub and this time it's about bus rides to be booked by users and approved by administrators. You can see the home page of that project on the screen, but before we dive in, some backstory. I received a comment on one of my older videos by Pablo Castro, you should promote harder quick admin panel. I have to look for a good admin panel generator and yours is the best so far. So thank you Pablo and I will promote more quick admin panel on this channel not because I want to sell more of it but more and more I see and hear stories of real users of our customers who created their own first project, who learned Laravel deeper, who used our admin panel generator to create real stuff and this demo project will be one of them. So this YouTube comment is just additional motivation for me to shoot this video and the actual idea for this project comes from an email by a quick admin panel customer, now customer, then it was a trial user, and he emailed about the project that he wants to create and asked whether it's possible or what tips do I have. It's a very simple project in six steps. So bus rides, then there is a booking period for open and close, then users do their booking if places are available. So we need to validate that. Then admin approves and rejects the bookings and the users receive the notifications. So just a simple bus ride without any money or transactions or payments, just managing the places on the rides on the buses. So then I asked a colleague Marius to create that project with quick admin panel. And as usual, part of that project is created with our generator. And then we go into PHP storm and add custom coding on top. So in this video, I will show you the end result, the project, then how it was generated with Quick Admin Panel. But to be clear, you can do it without Quick Admin Panel. It's just Laravel code. The generator just helps to generate the basic code quicker. And then I will show you in PHP Storm what was customized. And maybe you will learn a thing or two about Laravel from those snippets. So first demo of the project. On the homepage, not logged in user can book a ride on any bus. There is some data seeded. So for example, let's click book now on some ride with Chrome extension called fake filler. I fill in the data, I submit some success message, and then I should log in as an administrator and confirm that. So let's do that. I log in. And here's where I go into Cook Admin Panel generated form, mostly generated, but then customized. And then I can see buses. So admin can manage the buses, bus name and places available in general on the bus. Then rides, rides belongs to a bus. So every ride is bus number, places available, route from to, departs and arrives at the times. And is the booking open at the moment or closed? And some more additional data. So zeros, because there are no bookings available for now. But for one of them, there should be number one here, as you can see. There's one booking to be processed. So we click on that and we get into the bookings table. And bookings table can be filtered by a route or by any other fields. And then inside of those bookings, admin can change, for example, edit. And then change status from processing to confirmed or rejected. So for example, let's change that to confirmed. And it will fire automatic email to the original user. This is it in my MailTrap account. By the way, MailTrap has changed the design. So this is the email. Your reservation status was changed to confirmed. That's it. Pretty simple application. Now let's dive into the code and how it was generated. Here's the actual database structure of this project. I exported that with MySQL Workbench. In the description of this video, I will link to a video how to do that. So booking belongs to a ride and then ride belongs to a bus. So how to create that with Quick Admin Panel? We go to create a new panel, panel name, for example, buses. I leave everything as default for now. And then by default, every panel has a user management with roles and permissions and with two roles, administrator and a simple user. But in this project, we don't really care about that. We need to create more CRUDs. CRUD stands for create, read, update and delete. And it represents one menu item to manage. So first menu item will be buses, buses. And then what fields do we need? Let's get back to our database table. So name and places available and everything else is done by default. So ID and timestamps are generated by quick admin panel. Also deleted at is hidden in here. By default, it's checked soft deletes. So all we need to do is create two fields, add new field, name of the bus, which is required and places available. It should be integer. So field type is integer places available. 
and it also is required. We save and it generates one menu item, buses. Then second menu item should be rides. So we create rides and now we need a relationship to buses. And in our system relationship is a field type. So we add a field with a type belongs to relationship to bus and automatically the system will add underscore ID so it will be bus ID. We need to choose the model to relate to, to buses. And we need to choose the field, but not the field to relate to what field to show in the table, in the table of rides. So we save that. And what other fields we need for the ride? Departure arrival places, departure arrival times, and is booking open. Okay. Text departure place. Required. I will do that a bit faster. Arrival place also required. Departure and arrival times will be with date time picker. So departure time required. There are more settings, but I'm not showing that to save you time. So arrival time also required and is booking open at the moment. And for that, we have a checkbox field is booking open. And by default, it is true because it should be open most of the time. We save and now we have second menu item called rides. The third and final menu item to be generated is called bookings. So for bookings, when it also belongs to relationship to rides this time, so it belongs to relationship to ride and we choose model rides which we have just created. And by the way, the code is being generated in background all the time that I'm doing that. So we create relationship to the ride. And then we need four fields about who made the booking. So name, email, phone, and status. So text field name, let's make them all optional. Email, and email has a separate field type, email. Text phone. And then final is status varchar in the database, but actually it is a select. So choice field select status required. And let's add key value sets processing confirmed and rejected. And default value will be processing. We repeat those two times because label text could be different from database value. Text off label could be even in a different language, non-English, or you can do that, for example, processing in lowercase or something like that. But we save it as it is now. And by this time, we have three CRUDs exactly for the structure that we need for the first version. And as soon as that writing files is done, which it is, I click preview panel and I will show you the result of quick admin panel generated code. So the system is taking the generated code, runs it on our server. It's running Composer install currently. That's why it takes a bit longer. Running Artisan Migrate, success, and then we continue and we have a special URL for our project. So we can log in with default credential, which is admin at admin.com and password is password. And we see pretty similar admin panel as in the final project, just with default settings. So buses, rides, and bookings. It didn't generate any front end to book the bus. That's what we will create in the custom code. And also a few things to customize, add some filters and stuff like that. So now let's dive into the code. And of course, I won't show you all the code. I've randomly picked more interesting stuff with something for you to learn from. The whole code will be available on GitHub, as I said. And first thing I want to show you is how to populate the select for your forms in some customized way, or at least how we do that in Quick Admin Panel. So this select is for the ride to choose the bus, but the bus should contain how many places are there on the bus. And in the blade for that form, we have proper select with for each of the buses with option ID and bus as a option value, as a text. But that bus should contain places. How to do that? So in the controller where you pass those buses, we are doing this. So getting all the options from the database, then we're doing pluck with exactly the fields that we want. So this is a text and this is the value. 
And then if we need the default empty value, we prepend that with please select value and key is empty. And that select name doesn't come from the database. If we go to bus model, we have this get select name attribute is an accessor, eloquent method accessor where you can do whatever. So this name and this place is available with some string operation for it to be plural. So in short, you can create some attributes in the model and then you can use that in controller and populate the select dropdowns like this. The next thing I want to show you is how we populate that table on the front page. So routes and times ordered by time and grouped by the date. So this is today and this is tomorrow and this is the day after. So first in the controller, there is a write controller. We are querying the writes where booking is still open and when the departure is further from now and then we group by date. So not sure if you know, but in Eloquent you can group by a custom function where you can specify the grouping parameter. And then in our writes blade, it's a typical bootstrap blade. We have a table for each of dates as date with writes. We enter the date and then for each of the writes we populate that table also formatting the time and there is a link to book now which we will get to in a second. Not sure if you know by the way there is a blade command for else so you can check if that array is empty instead of doing if that empty else something there is a blade command for else and if that array is empty there is a special case empty. So if the database is empty it would show there are no upcoming writes. Also I want to mention that this layout is extending layouts front and front is probably familiar to you because it's a default Laravel UI scaffolding blade. And we took it without any Laravel UI requirements or generating. I will show you how easy it is to just take that simple blade. You can go to GitHub, GitHub Laravel UI and navigate to layouts app stub. And this is exactly what you need here. All the bootstrap, you can just copy and paste into your blade. Go click row copy all of that and paste into your IDE. Also, of course, you need AppCSS and AppJS. But these are also inside of Laravel UI if you need them. The next thing to show is how that button works. So book now opens a form and this is one form for all the bookings. So how do we get the parameters for ride ID? And in the same rides blade, we have that table we mentioned already. And before that table, there is a form with all those fields. And by default, that form is display none. And there's one hidden parameter, id write. And whenever book now is clicked at the bottom, we didn't bother to create some separate JS or something. It's just inline JavaScript. It's not the best practice, I know. But for such a simple thing, it works. On click, we're just setting the write value to current write id, and we show that form. That's it. Now, the submission of that form has pretty interesting validation. Method book has book write request, and book write request already has its own rules, so name, email, phone, and write ID are required. But also, we need to check whether still there are places and if the booking is still open. So, we can create a separate validation rule for that, or we can validate that directly in controller as we did here. So, we calculate the amount of confirmed bookings on that ride, and then we check the conditions. If there is no bus, for whatever reason bus was deleted or something, if booking is not open, or if places available are less than bookings count, less or equal, and also checking the time in any of those conditions, we redirect back with errors. Otherwise, we create the booking and redirect back with status that is successful. And final thing I want to show you how to send that email notification to the user whenever admin changes the right booking status from processing to confirmed or rejected. And it is done with Laravel notification. Of course, using Laravel default notifications is very convenient. So you just do make notification class and then you populate your email message like this or with Blade or whatever. We just use default Laravel template with line your reservation was changed to this status. Now, how does this status comes to that class? The actual firing of that notification comes from an interesting place, actually. It's not done in the controller, like update booking or something. In the model of booking, there is a method booting 
So whenever that model is updated, and that means updated from wherever, admin or maybe some artisan command in the future, maybe some event in the future, whatever. Whenever that model is updated, if status attribute is dirty, which means it's changed, and if new status is confirmed or rejected, then we send the email and we send to notification route mail with booking email. So that email is not in the system even, it's not a user of the system, so we can send notification to wherever, whatever email. And then we fire that class of notification with the parameter of booking status, which is one of these two. And then inside of the notification in the constructor, we assign that to private variable here. And then it's changing to confirmed to this text. So that's it for more details. The code is all available on GitHub. If you have any comments, let me know in the comments of this YouTube video. And I hope this was a useful demo, not only about Laravel, but also about the capabilities of our quick admin panel. So if you have a new idea for a new project and it requires admin panel or CRUD database structure, please try to use quick admin panel. And by that you will support this channel because the more money is earned by quick admin panel, the more time I personally have to shoot free videos on YouTube and see you guys in other videos.